Break a leg, kids. And there's still more news ahead. Eyewitness News at 6 begins right now. This is breaking news from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight we're following two breaking news stories. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg responding tonight to criticism over the no bail release of migrants charged with attacking two NYPD officers. Several of them may have fled the city. But first, on the same day as the remains of three American soldiers killed in Jordan are returned to the United States, American forces launch retaliatory strikes on targets in Syria and Iraq. Good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. President Biden had promised a military response after three American service members were killed in a drone attack in Jordan. About two hours ago, U.S. airstrikes targeted dozens of Iranian targets in Iraq and Syria, marking a sharp escalation in the war in the Middle East. I'm News reporter Josh Einiger in the newsroom with the breaking news for us. Josh? A bill, we continue to learn more new information about these U.S. airstrikes. The Pentagon deploying a squadron of B-2 bombers to drop 125 munitions on 85 targets in seven locations across Syria and Iraq. Importantly, the U.S. did not target anything on Iranian soil, and that's a key distinction the Pentagon is hoping will prevent a further escalation in a region already on fire. You have a Thank you, Mr. Swift. She will, <laughs> she will forgive us. By the way, love everybody. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you like this. Right. This is sure. the important yeah, stuff. Right. Right. Uh, we'll come we'll tonight with David Muir is coming up next. I would use return tonight at 11 o'clock. Have a great night. AJ. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air the U.S. launching major retaliatory airstrikes after the